YouTube and welcome to part 12 and um, in the last episode we made a terrain and it looks epic our whole environment everything is just amazing and now we can't see the enemies coming at us but the enemies still know how to dodge these awesome terrains and still find us um, and we still can do the usual killing and I haven't been able to make a tutorial for you guys in a while because oh gosh um, because I'm working on a new mechanism that is actually going to be in our future tutorials it is a script that actually records your key presses and how long you have holded that key for and it replays that um, the amount of keys you press uh, and everything it's actually quite amazing I've got it to work it's still got a few imperfections that I will soon fix so today it's a really really short tutorial um, all I'm doing is adding skyboxes which is kind of fun because you get to have your freedom in this so what we're gonna do is head over to the asset store and the input recorder that I'm making I'm putting it on the asset store because there's already one on the asset store but it's really really dodgy and I'm making this with very basic coding so like anyone can use it and it's, it's really cool um, alright let's, let's go let's go uh, do, 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 do. Uh, okay so we're going to go to home and we're gonna uh, sky boxes let's go type in sky boxes and we'll choose one that we like uh, is there a top three oh, wait, wait wait textures and materials skies and skies we'll go to top three Sky FX1 seems to be the most free and best one apparently. So let's click download on Sky 5X1 and I will be back with you when that is done. Finished and this popped up, this window popped up. Let's click import. And um, let's head over to our manual scene. Wait, 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 wait. And uh, if you noticed, I did a little bit of an arranging to all my stuff, and everything's a little bit more arranged now because everything was all over the place before. Okay, so let's go to main camera. Okay. Skybox, and as you can see, our skybox is enemy, which we set for fun the other day. So, let's go to our Sky 5X. Let's click Skyboxes, and let's choose a texture. So, let's see, um, this. Eh, eh. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, I'm, I'm choosing out of these two. Oh, let's go with this. Okay, let's play the menu scene. And oh my gosh. And we did add like a little bit of a camera movement before, if you remember. And that is amazing, my friends. Um, let's give a little bit more freedom to that. Make a hundred. Uh, uh, make X 180 and 180. Both. Now we can just look at now nah, I want it 360. Okay, we can go 360 now. Okay, just give it a little bit of freedom. There we go. Beautiful sky, beautiful, beautiful. Quite amazing actually. And um let's head back over to our my scene title to save my modifications to this scene okay so for our FPS controller we're gonna go to the first person character and we're also gonna 
break with command or control um, this camera over here and we're gonna add com component and skybox and in skybox we're just gonna head over to 5x skyboxes and we're gonna drag a different one I'm just gonna take this night one into here let's play the scene and there we are beautiful beautiful things but we're still getting a night uh, like a lot of light from that and let's go to our directional light and um, flare let's go to custom lens flare there we go let's drag that in there uh, color oh gosh um That, right, let's make the intensity 0.1 well we don't want it to be too much right because I uh, I didn't I never played with these gosh um, what's this light settings okay Oh yep, okay. Um color settings, okay. So it's like a type of bluish colour. So let's head back over to our camera. Okay, so close. No, our directional light and let's make it a sort of bluish colour. Yeah, we go like that. Oh um, that's fine. Intensity, we still make it that. And let's head over to window, lighting, and sun. Oh gosh, that's not good. Let's go to our light, directional light. We'll make our light that. Set our directional light to that. Skybox, ambient intensity. Yep. These all look good. Let's just build this. Okay, let's test this now. There we go. That, that's fine. That's good, that's good, that's good, that's good. Uh, that's really good actually. I like it. Um, oh, why is it taking so much damage? I want to die actually, where, where, where are they? Come here. Okay, menu. Oh gosh, what has, all right. Um, this, that shouldn't happen to you, but obviously I have unticked it for some reasons. Um, because I was testing our multiplayer and um, yeah. And actually, I think I might want to do one more thing. I'd actually want to create a perfect spawn in for that. Okay, let's go into the menu. Beautiful. Um, so when the enemy actually spawns, it's that kind of weird. Um, where's the spawn? Let's see. Let's see. Where's the spawn? Let's see. Spawn, spawn. Where are you, Mr. Spawn? Here it is. There it is, where's the map going on? Add the box collider so we can see this cube here. Okay. No way. Okay, there we go. Um, and let's add a little, like, type of cube around it. There we go, perfect. Um, let's just... Uh, ticking the cube is it, so we can actually see it. I want to create like a base so I can put this under that cube. Wait. Um, I'm going to parent this cube to that cube. So grab this new cube they added and put it under the mob spawner. And now I can move the child freely. I just need to see it. Wait, let's turn on the mesh renderer here so it helps us a little bit. 
and it helps us a lot. <laughs> Should have done that before. And that's add a nice texture to that, actually. Um, have I got any textures at all? Mm -hmm. No. Oh yeah, I'll add this. I've got this brick. You don't need to, but I just want to because I like doing that. But if you don't want to, obviously you don't have to. So that should spawn on that now and yes that's good and it actually push it pushes um, each other off which is another good thing about that so that, that's perfect now and we have a little brick in the sky so people look up where is that monster coming from oh there it is so that oh gosh okay um Okay, they come up anyway. Um, so let's, let's just kill these people. It's actually getting harder. I think um, I think it's because of all the lag. Uh, okay, um, I'm just gonna use my shotgun to clear out the enemies here. <sighs> this game is getting frustrating for even me. Um, but that's fine. Where are they? It's so hard to like. find them um but that was today's tutorial yeah it was really simple sorry about that guys um i, I was wanting to do more but uh yeah sorry about that but i could make another tutorial on how to make my input manager which would be great because there's not one tutorial on there I had to make that all by myself like I was looking everywhere and then I couldn't even find one and then I had to create the whole script all by myself and it was kind of fun but really annoying at the same time because I had no help um, because I played Gran Turismo a lot and um, that uh, feature was in there, the ghost method, like you try to beat your previous score. Um, but I was trying to recreate that, but there was no tutorials on that. So yeah, I created my own script, which I need to perfect. So see you guys, and I'll be back with another tutorial really, really soon on hopefully how to make your arms. Okay, see you till then. Have fun.